In today's episode, we will be building a terrarium using the mystery soil where I found my parasitic queen ant. If you guys missed that, there is a video on my page, so be sure to check that out. We will start with the drainage. My supplies are low, so I mix small rocks with the last of my lycra. Next, I will be experimenting with a new material to act as a separator. This will help keep the soil from falling out and into the drainage. A little overhang is good. I'm so sorry guys, I've got a cold. <laughs> Next to hardscape, I found this log which I had to cut to height, but this will be my centerpiece. I need to use this rock as support until I can add some soil. The idea of this log is the wonders of what could live inside that really excites me. Next I will add the offcut bit to the back. That's how I want it to look. Next, I will measure up for the background. Now I have my measurements, it's time to cut my background. Using a pencil, I scored a cut line. Now with the background cut, I'll keep these off cuts just in case. Now it is time to add the background. Now as you can see I've left a gap around the top of the glass. More on this in the next episode but mostly for the light at this point. Then I noticed the centerpiece log was touching the glass and this can mean anything inside could escape so I had to move it around again. Now time to add the mystery soil, this stuff is teeming with life. I first get the soil to my liking. Next up I will be using some core soil for decoration purposes. As you can see, this has brought more colour to the tank. Now I will scape it again to my liking. Playing around until I get the scape I want. Now I will moisten this soil as this will make planting a lot more easier. Now to bring this to life I will first start adding moss to the log to bring it more to life. I think this makes it look more natural. These ferns are not doing so well so I'm going to add them in the hope they will spring back. A general rule to terrariums is to add larger plants at the back and smaller at the front. They look okay there. Slowly and gradually, more life is being added to my little cube, and I'm loving it. Next up I will be adding a few sigoniums to the back. Also, I will fill in any empty spaces with some more moss. I filled in any empty spaces with some moss. I added some moss on top of the log as I hope it will fix and spread up the log. Um, I love that natural look. This is starting to come together really well and I'm really loving the vibe I'm getting from this.
Next I'll add some leftover stone to the front to give it some more depth and this will act as a feeding area. I decided to add a smaller Sigonium trimming near the front too. Next up some complexer fern cones, this stuff grows really long. And I'm going to wrap it around the log in the hopes that it will grow wild to the top. Just how I imagined in my head. Perfect. We want to add a bit of moss in this corner as it looks a little bit bland. And on the right I'm going to add some rocks, just to give the front some more depth. I'm going to add some more complexer fern as I love this stuff and once it's rooted this stuff really grows long. Now some moss for some finishing touches. I decided it looked bare in the front so I was going to add this piece of wood. The first creature I will be adding will be a slug, don't ask me why, he just came along for the journey. And now some worms, these will be really beneficial for the soil later on. Next I need a predator, this centipede should help keep other numbers of other insects and bugs and crustaceans low. Now some of my favourite things ever. Isopods. Isopods are amazing and will help keep a terrarium tidy. They can make a great cleanup clue and they're awesome when assisted with springtails. Amazing stuff. The vision that I had in my head has eventually now come into life. I don't even know who this is. <laughs> Next I will add some mealy beetles as I'm hoping they will breed as this will act as a food source for an inhabitant I later on plan to add. I'm really happy how this has turned out and this is great and there's still so much more to be done. Anyway guys this is the end of part one, I'm sort of wrapping it up but stay tuned for part two. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, guys keep waiting. End of part two to be continued. <laughs>